I am standing in the Alameda County Sheriff's Department shooting range in Dublin, California, where we are planning to shoot some guns at our newly completed Iron Man armor to find out if it's bulletproof. And if it is, well then it has crossed that divide from costume to real armor. I'm kind of excited to find out. It's like a cooking show, but with guns. For today's test, my team and I constructed a remotely operated gun stand that will allow me to pull the trigger from behind a shield to avoid ricocheting bullet fragments. We'll be firing multiple calibers of bullets to test the armor's resistance to increasing impacts. A 22 caliber, a nine millimeter, and a 45 caliber. Think of them as small, medium, and large. And why are we shooting at a steel plate when we're trying to find out if our titanium armor is bulletproof? Well, it's because I also want a comparator. So we're gonna shoot our three calibers at steel plates as well as at the titanium so we can see how the titanium responds in comparison to the steel plate. Okay, here we go. Firing a 22 subsonic hollow point into steel in three, Two, one. That's a successful shot. All right, look at that, a perfect splash. Okay, I didn't expect that bullet to go through this steel plate and it didn't, but it also tells me that my sight picture is pretty good. Next up, nine millimeters. This is firing a nine millimeter hollow point into steel. In three, two, one. There we go. I can see that it hit. This is nine millimeter regular bullet. In three, two, one. Excellent. Hollow point, normal round. 45 caliber bullet. In three, two, one. That is a big ass dent. All right. All right, shall we recap? This is 22 caliber. This is nine millimeter ho hollow point and ball round. And this is 45 caliber. The 22 caliber, I'm not that worried about that, but if I'm wearing steel armor and I get hit with a bullet like this, that's gonna hurt like hell. Now it's time to fire the same three calibers at our Iron Man armor and find out just how well the printed titanium resists the onslaught of these bullets. Awesome. I feel like that is in a good position. The impact of a bullet is determined by the projectile's mass and velocity. The bigger the bullet and the faster it travels, the greater the damage done to the target. We're hoping the bullets won't penetrate our titanium armor, but if they do, we want to be able to measure the damage. Cue the dummy. Right here, right there. Perfect. We found this company that makes ballistic gel dummies with bones and organs that have been calibrated to be the correct density of proper organs. And as you can see, this one is slightly used. All right, get the armor. We'll be firing all three of our different caliber bullets from handguns at a distance of 20 feet, close enough to inflict mortal damage to an unprotected human torso. Safety is off. Here we go. Gonna shoot at some Iron Man armor. Oh. All right, buddy. See you on the other side. Here we go. 3D printed titanium Iron Man armor versus 22 caliber bullet in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, there is no break in the surface. There is no dent, no nothing. I can see the mark where the 22 caliber hit, but there is no tactile sign that a bullet hit this. And that means that this is bulletproof, but it's a 22 caliber round. I would like to fire some higher firepower at it to find out just how bulletproof it is. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that sentence. We're moving up to a nine millimeter round. It's not just bigger than a 22 caliber. Because it packs more gunpowder, it travels at a much greater speed. There we go. Run. 
Here we go. Nine millimeter round versus Iron Man armor. In three, two, one. The cover for the light fell out, but let's go check out how we did. Oh, okay. Wow, I hit right next to the other shot. A tiny dent. I mean, I can feel it, but it's probably moved in less than a millimeter. That is impressive. And you can see the bullet hit here and sprayed this way, and the amount of force actually knocked the lens out of the chest. Uh, this sort of thing happens from time to time. A close examination of the armor post shooting at it is uh, revealing this here, a little bit of shrapnel in the ballistics gel. And if I pull that out, I can confirm, yep, yep, that's a piece of lead from the bullet. And this is uh, apparently one of the hidden dangers of wearing Iron Man armor is that as the bullet splashes off your chest, if you don't have proper neck and chin protection, well, all the pieces of that bullet have to go somewhere and they're going to enjoy burying themselves into your tender flesh. Now we're gonna move up to the bigger bullet. With 60% more mass than the nine millimeter, the 45 caliber bullet is capable of much greater damage. All right, safety's off. Here we go. 3D printed titanium Iron Man armor versus 45 caliber bullet. Three, two, one. This is a hell of a hit. Let's go check it out. Oh, some significant. Yeah, it, uh, it came up and hit the shoulder bell, hit the pauldron seems to have skipped right off of it. Right there, that's a 45 caliber bullet hit, and it hasn't even left a significant mark. That is bulletproof armor. <laughs> in the movies, you're always seeing Tony Stark in the Iron Man suit while people are shooting at him and the bullets are just bouncing off of him. We have now determined empirically, experimentally, here at the shooting range that that is an accurate picture of what a titanium Iron Man suit would do in relation to bullets. It's totally bulletproof.